Well, hello again. This is my uh, third video on the LJ um, FPV video transmitter and camera set. I'm back at it, the field at Namaji. Uh, unfortunately, it's another grey overcast day, and there's a bit of, little bit of rain sprinkling around the field. But uh, that's what this test, I suppose, is about. So we get off the ground fairly easily and I climb up to altitude and uh, start to put on the goggles. I've uh, made some modifications to the uh, the airplane. I've given myself a bit more elevator authority and aileron authority so it's actually flying a little bit better than it has before and I'm, I'm starting to get used to this low flying business. So here I am coming down the strip. That's me on the right. I have the place to myself today. It's a bit late in the afternoon but the wind has died down which is what I was really looking for so focusing on flying a bit low trying to keep down around the 10 meters the uh, OSD there on the right is flashing when I'm below 10 meters but that's 10 meters that that altitude is above the home altitude it's not actual ground altitude as to where I am so there's quite a few hills around so even though it might show more than uh, than uh, 20 metres, I'm actually below 10 in some places. So I'm just having a uh, bit of a look around. You start to look at trees as potential objects to fly around rather than things to fly over. And I've spotted this little gap in between the trees and think, oh, have a go at that. That looks pretty fun. So get through that, feeling pretty pleased with myself, and then to see the road to the neighbouring farmer's uh, house and decide to have a fly down that. And I'll spot a nice leafy tree down the end with a nice low canopy, and I wonder if I can crawl underneath that, and I, just as I get near it, I decide, well, maybe the next circuit. I've only been flying for a couple of minutes, so... So just focus on uh, coming in down the strip low, you can see the camera, the light pulsing in the camera. Some of that is due to the processing I've done on this video. The video editor I'm using uh, alleges to be able to even out uh, low light camera problems. But uh, the actual camera, it gets quite dark when you're heading south and you get a lot of sky in the camera view. It seems to be much better when the plane's pointing down than when it's pointing up. So here we are again, out low over the farmer's paddock. I'm looking for that um, road again to have a, another go at the tree and then I notice that there's a line of trees there and I'm, I think well I'll fly down behind them and see how that affects the video. So. So this is a half a kilometre away from home, I'm flying down the side of the trees and I uh, start to get a little bit of video break up but I, I just put a little bit of altitude on and it seems to not be too bad. But I'm fairly happy with that, I mean if you're expecting it it shouldn't be a problem. So there's the farmer's road again coming down to that. So I'm thinking this time under that canopy for sure. So I'm lining up and just as uh, the video starts to break up and I chicken out again. So <laughs> I just need more practice I think. So yet another low pass down the strip. Still there on my own on the right there. So this is the hill at the northern end of the strip. I think I'll just have a quick flight in the little track that runs around that just to see uh, if that's worth exploring for future flights. And then I'll head back out towards the uh, 
neighbouring farmhouse. You can see when the plane starts to go down, the picture gets a lot better. I've picked up a few water droplets on the lens, which is making it even tougher. There's a bit of flaring going on. So, looking at that little flock of sheep on the right. So, the farmers had sheep in our immediate neighbouring paddock for the last couple of months. They've all gone now. Um, they're thinking about putting the fence down and then I'll spot a herd of cattle which seem to be our new neighbours so they've done some fairly severe damage to our strip in years past which is why we have an electric fence so it looks like we'll be leaving that fence up for a little while longer this year here I am again coming uh, down the uh, northern end of the strip the creek just having a look at uh, what sort of clearance I might have down there again you can see the light and dark changes when it's dark it, it is quite difficult to see on the uh, on the headset so um, it doesn't have too much of a problem in bright sunlight, but days like this, it's definitely a challenge for this little CMOS camera. So, heading out again to the road, wondering if I'll be brave enough to fly under that tree. I decided to go out to the west a little bit. There's a tree there, will I fly left under that? Oh no, I've chickened out and I've just banked and yanked to get around it and got too low and the wind dug in, so. It didn't look too bad from uh, a distance, I could see it on the ground, uh, I could see the tail was still up, so that was good. But, um, yes, it Everything was still uh, working, the stabiliser was still trying to keep the plane level as I was carrying it back. Well done to the poor old cooter. Zigged when I should have zagged. Notice the tail didn't break though. Everything's still working though. The, the camera is still transmitting. Let's see if the uh, motor decides it's still going to work. Still working. So I only put that motor in last night, so uh, oh, I don't know. I might finish my spectre off and uh, give this one a decent burial. I don't know. Put it in a naughty corner with a wrap there for a little while and think about it. So the video transmitter and camera are obviously pretty tough. I mean, they've survived the uh, the crash, and they'll obviously go into another plane. It's just that light handling of the little CMOS camera. I haven't tried a uh, CCD camera on it, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. But uh, yeah, look, for for twenty six bucks, you really can't uh, complain. Can